So a lot of people ask me this question all the time is, you know, how do you get a job as a, uh, as a professor full time? Because um, it looks like a dream job and I'll tell you it is. It's a fantastic job. There's two times in my life I felt like I won the lottery. And um, one time, the first one, by far the biggest lottery win was when, when I met and married my wife. That was, um, well, you know, I, I married way up on that one. So, so that was a lottery win and great decision. Uh, the other time I won the lottery was when I got a job uh, teaching at a college. Uh, I look forward to going to work almost every day. Not, not every day, but every day, almost every day I do look forward to going to work. I look forward to September rolling around. Don't get me wrong. I, I also look forward to July and August. But um, yeah, I look forward to September rolling around. Um, it's, uh, I was working in journalism for a long time before I went into teaching. That was a dream job too. But man, teaching for balancing um, lifestyle and still having really interesting work, it's fantastic. So obviously I know a lot of people and they say, hey, I'd, I'd like to do that. How do I do that? So the way I did it is I started teaching part-time. I was working um, for a CTV news station in Sudbury, Ontario, and realized, hey, I'm not making a ton of money doing this. I mean, it's a smaller market. Money wasn't great. And I started looking for a part-time job. So the day I started, I was dropping off resumes. Um, I dropped one off at a local community college. At the same day, I dropped one off at Blockbuster. So I, I wasn't fussy. I thought maybe, oh, maybe it'll help kids with essays or something. And then I get a call from uh, a university in, uh, in the same city, Laurentian University. And they said, hey, we'd like you to come in um, and interview. And I came away, I was teaching two courses. Well, three actually, I taught two one semester and one the next semester at the same time I was working in television. Loved it, it was fantastic. Um, I felt like maybe the, uh, the, 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 the first year I taught, I thought maybe I should have given the students their money back, but it, um, they kept me around and they kept me around for five years and they liked my work enough. I had a really great mentor there and he says, hey, you're doing a good job. Um, you know, I, I think you could actually uh, maybe do this full time. But you know, you, you're really gonna need to get a, a doctorate. Well, I had a master's and, uh, and uh, I thought, well, so I said, well, okay, so let's say I quit my teaching job and I go and do my doctorate. Would you hold that for me? I said, well, we can't promise that. I said, okay, huh. I also didn't really wanna quit my full-time job because I, kinda, you know, I, I needed that and I didn't wanna go into a lot of student debt. And he says, don't worry, I've got this figured out for you. Uh, he had done an exchange teaching in Australia and recommended very highly doing an Australian doctorate because Australia is kind of has been a, a world leader in doing distance education. Australia is far away from most people. It's hard to get to. So um, one of their biggest products that they export is actually education. And they pioneered kind of doing online doctorates and have lots of cool different doctorates. Mine is a doctor of communication. And shopped around for schools. It's, uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's not as expensive as you might think. Depending where you go, you do need to shop around. I uh, have a colleague and she did hers from uh, a university in Australia and I think her tuition and remember, she's starting this back in 2006. I think she predicted her tuition was going to be like around 80,000. I didn't pay near that. Uh, I think I was maybe paying, maybe paying 25 or 30 uh, total. Um, I had looked at a more expensive school, um, ended up finding this less expensive school, Charles Sturt University, accredited school. <laughs> actually, it's, it's, not a, a not, it's not a diploma mill, it, it actually exists. Uh, lots of graduate programs, lots of terrific research, terrific supervision, um, but they were a little less expensive. One reason I've heard is because they're inland Australia and most people who, if they end up going to Australia, want to be on the coast because it's nicer there. Uh, but I, Charles Sturt was fantastic, had good supervisors, uh, price was right, and uh, I was able to complete it over five years. I was done in just a little over five, which isn't bad. I mean, some, some people that long to do it full time. Uh, why is the Australian doctorate kind of cool? Well, unlike a North American doctorate, those ones are kind of course heavy, especially at the beginning. 
Whereas if you go to Australia or South Africa, like another friend of mine did, or Britain, you follow the British model, which is tends to be thesis heavy. Um, so there's a wide variety of things you can do. I did a, I, 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 I did mine. I was able to get good supervision. They they kind of walked me through it, um, guided me through the whole process, uh, and I, the fact I had started my doctor, I. I think opened a lot of doors for me. When I was hired full-time at Conestoga, I had um, been partway, I, you know, I kind of just gotten started. I was about a year or two into it when they hired me. And, uh, and then I thought, hey, cool, I got the job. I thought, well, I better finish it. <laughs> so I did, it was hard, but um, you know, I finished it uh, before my kids were old enough to remember me doing it. So that was, that was good. So that is my story. If you're, I took me a long time to get there. But if you are interested in um, in taking on a career in higher education, um, you know, at the if you're interested in teaching a degree or at the college level these days, you know, masters is people want that, and I can I can talk about masters too. There's some great affordable online ways to do it. Um, I never set foot in Australia. I haven't been to Australia, but I have an accredited degree from a terrific school in Australia uh, and able to do it through a method that wasn't all that time consuming and wasn't all that expensive because if you know me, um, I don't part easily with money and, um, and my time is really valuable to me. It should be valuable to you.